Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest from the live radar from the latest UKV have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as it is remaining very unsettled throughout the rest of this working week and into the weekend as well we're going to see some longer spells of rain especially as we head into Thursday morning we see some longer spells of rain potentially into Saturday as well and behind those spells of rain we could see some pretty hefty showers and maybe even some severe thunderstorms storms eyes are on saturday afternoon as we are looking potentially a real quite lively band of storms developing as we do see the low pressure moving in off the atlantic we've got that warm air to our south combining with that cold air big temperature contrast and that could produce a lot of instability so all eyes are set on that saturday uh, risk of thunderstorms before it starts to turn a lot warmer and potentially hotter into next week now, we have alluded to this a lot over the past couple of days and has cropped up in the models a lot over the past couple of weeks. And finally, it does look like it is going to come to fruition at some point later on next week. Southerly winds are looking favoured now. Still a bit of uncertainty how much high pressure will be involved. Will it be a hotter and drier pattern or a hotter and thundery pattern? Regardless, though, it is going to be turning a lot more humid and temperatures of course are going to rise significantly as we head towards the middle of the month so we'll look at that all in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy the videos make sure you like and subscribe now if you start on the live radar we've had a generally dry day today some sunshine around still feeling a bit blustery and cold especially when we've got some cloud cover or in the shade but generally speaking it is still june so with the sun out the temperatures do lift up a little bit higher um, than we kind of would expect. You can see this evening though, we have got some showers moving in from the west, and that is the signs of the next low pressure system arriving off the Atlantic. Now at the moment, those showers are across the north of Scot uh, North Wales, North England, and Western Scotland, probably it's around 9 p.m. So those are starting to move in, but it's this area of rain just to the south of the Republic of Ireland that's gonna be really steering in over the next few hours, and this is gonna bring some really heavy rain across much of England and Wales. Now if you look at the temperatures this evening, you can see uh, they're still all right in the east, nothing amazing, uh, you know, below average for the time of year, but not too bad when we've had that sunshine today. Much poorer further north and westwards where it's feeling more like mid-spring than early summer. Now if you look at the latest UKV, you can see those showers through this evening starting to pep up more and more and eventually the heavy rain arrives through the early hours of the morning and for much of tomorrow morning, heavy rain for England and Wales. It does clear and then leaves behind some scattered thunderstorms around the lunchtime period. Again, could be very lively where those do move through. They do clear by the early evening and eventually as we head into Friday, we see another band of heavy showers moving through overnight and hopefully clearing by the rush hour in the morning. But still could be a few hefty showers around lingering into the late morning period. For the rest of the day, a few odd showers, but nothing too much and generally a drier latter part of the day. However, into Saturday, it's rinse and repeat another spell of showers into the morning and a longer spell of rain there into Saturday afternoon. And then during the peak of the afternoon, look at this, some real hefty showers and thunderstorms developing there across large portions of England and Wales. Could be some really severe conditions, could even be some weather warnings issued for this sort of system, looking very lively indeed. That will eventually clear through the evening, giving a little bit of rain into Sunday morning. But Sunday generally looks like a slightly better day. And then Monday, another spell of rain moving in from the north. Now, the temperatures are going to be a little bit all over the place. You can see the upper air temperatures are colder or a lot colder in the north than the south. A good five, six, seven degree temperature contrast. And that just fuels those heavy showers, storms and bands of rain over the next couple of days. You can really see that on Saturday afternoon with the upper air temperatures, five or six degrees in the far southeast, minus one or minus two in the far northwest. That's seven, eight degree to con temperature contrast that is fueling all those showers and storms. And you can see if you put the mixed level cape, there is this small bump in cape there through Saturday afternoon and that does fuel those showers on and storms. All eyes on that for this weekend. Now, to look at max temperatures into Thursday afternoon, it's going to be another relatively poor day, mid to high teens at best. Of course, with that rain around, it will feel colder. As we progress into Friday, temperatures climbing a little bit across central areas, a few more 18 to 20s, but still you know, a bit below average, uh, a couple of degrees there below average from what we would expect for June. 
Saturday is even worse. Temperatures really struggling to get above the mid-teens with all those hefty showers around and thunderstorms. And then slowly into Sunday, temperatures start to sort of pick up a little bit more towards the high teens. Same can be said for Monday, maybe around the low 20s towards the southeast. Of course, though, it is going to be picking up a lot more into the latter part of next week, and that's when those southerly winds start to push in. Now, if you look at the latest GFS, it was pretty bullish with that warmer pattern yesterday, and it has continued once again today. The westerly winds over the next few days go nowhere, but eventually into the middle of next week, look at that, the winds veer to a south to south easterly hot air drawn in from the Mediterranean, but low pressure is to our west. So although it will be turning hotter, it will probably also be pretty unsettled. Low pressure does sweep through and eventually high pressure replaces it. Not quite as hot air in place there. You see upper temperatures hovering around the 5 to 10 degree marks. We are looking at low to mid-20s, nothing special, but still warm and still hopefully a bit dry there as we progress towards the end of the month for our final third. You can see if we run it back, that southerly wind arriving next week, potentially getting up towards 15 degree isotherm there but for eventually swept away by that small low pressure system before eventually high pressure gets back involved. Now the GEM is also pretty bullish with that hotter pattern. Westerly winds continue over the coming days. Eventually that southerly flow arrives later on next week but again that low pressure system is nearby. It doesn't push in though. So actually at day 10 although we do see that low pressure flirting with us it actually is dry and actually pretty hot there all the way to day 10 and if we put on those two meter temperatures you can see getting up into the mid 20s you can see just across the channel 31 or 32 degrees that would be heading in over the following days with that heat starting to build you can see at this end of the gm run we're not in the very hot air yet but the heat is building and we would expect that to continue in the subsequent day so gm on the sort of journey towards a proper hot spell there. ECMWF this evening is pretty similar. Again, low pressure systems continue to come in off the Atlantic. Eventually, southerly winds arrive into the middle of next week. Again, low pressure out to our west is unstable, but look at the air mass around the 20 degree ice firm, potentially just skirting the far southeast. Fresh air moves in temporarily with that small low pressure system. But you can see with the pressure patterns, high pressure is building back in and it will be coming back in with a south to southwesterly. And you can see all of that warm, hot air to our southeast would be wafting in and we would go once again back towards the mid to maybe high 20s. So it doesn't look like it's gonna be you know, consistent 100% hot conditions or very warm conditions throughout the middle portion of June, but definitely a few bursts of heat in a generally warming trend. Uh, of course though, will be intertwined with some heavy showers, with some thunderstorms, as we do keep that unsettled pattern there as we progress into the middle of the month. And if you do pair to the latest GFS ensembles, cool over the next five days or so with some big precipitation spikes, the rain through the next 24 hours, and then that more of that rain into Saturday. But then into the middle of the next week, temperatures start to spike. And you can see as we head into the following days, it gets very warm. Temperatures into the low teens at the upper air levels. So we're building at mid to high 20s, some even hotter than that does you know, drop off a little bit in the subsequent days but still stays above average precipitation is moderate so again backs up that thundery but warm if not hot pattern and if you do look at the two meter temperatures look at that upwards trend over the next 10 days or so from 16 17 degrees over the next couple of days up towards the mid 20s come probably a week uh about in this sort of, in about a week to 10 days time so yes not great at the moment. We've had a decent day today, but it's going to get worse over the next couple of days. But definitely improvements as we head further and further into the first month of summer. And finally, if we compare to the latest ECMWF, it's very, very similar. Cool over the next few days with those two distinct precipitation spikes through Thursday and on Saturday. And then progressively into next week, it goes hotter, upper air temperatures up towards the mid-teens, and we start to see some big spikes appearing. So some heavy showers and some thunderstorms. So let's keep a very close eye, not only on what happens on Saturday with those heavy showers and storms, but also with the temperatures next week, and then potentially some more thunderstorms 
and showers. Uh, so yeah, some pretty exciting, potentially explosive weather to come over the next couple of weeks. So if you do enjoy that sort of summery explosiveness with storms and hot conditions, then yes, it is going to be uh, yeah pretty exciting over the next couple of weeks. But if you do prefer the low twenties, mundane, dry conditions that we saw through much of spring, then we're not going to be seeing much of that at all over the next couple of weeks. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing if you're new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.